Hey sister, this is Dr. Karen Osborne. Listen, I'm going to talk to you for 30 seconds before this episode begins about my next Women Wanting More live event. This is two and a half days of women just like you being pushed physically, mentally, emotionally, getting really clear on what they want, knowing why it matters, and leave with the tools to actually put that into action and being part of a sisterhood. So if this is something that really, really resonates within your heart, sister, I want you to head over to drkarenosburn.com, click on the work with me button, and we can start the application process. I look forward to hearing from you. Here's that episode. Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. All right, sister, I'm about to go on a rant with this one today. Check this out. Conversation. I just had with my husband earlier and there's some clients that either for himself or for myself that are applying to coach with us that will say this, I'm too overwhelmed with everything right now. So I think I'm just going to wait until I like, until I'm less overwhelmed, until I have everything figured out, until the timing is right. And these are people that are either men or women that my husband Ed is coaching that are chiropractors, most of them, that are maybe at a point of crisis in their life with their practice, so with their business. They're at a point of crisis with their practice and or they're just tired, they're just working like dogs. And my husband Ed is brilliant teaching them how to how to produce a message, how to actually create something outside of the four walls of their chiropractic practice and to be able to generate income outside of the practice so they can Either it's those that want to step out of practice or just want something else. They don't want to be a slave to business. Uh, for me and the, the women that are applying to coach with me, you know, that state of overwhelm will come, will come from a place of many of the women that approach me are kind of at a point where they will, in their words at times, they've hit rock bottom. Like they just feel stuck. They feel lost. And so we'll again be like, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm having problems with my health. My marriage is like in trouble. I'm not showing the way I want to as a mom. I feel like I don't have any purpose. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. What I'm, I don't feel fulfilled with what I do in my business or my work. And they think that they have to wait. They think they have to delay. They think they have to, there's like, there's like a timing to this. See, the funny part of this piece is like, these women and these men and women, they're coming to Ed, like, they're coming to us saying, please help me. And through the conversations we have and the questions that we ask, we're really determining, number one, can we help these people that are applying to coach with us? And number two, are they really a fit? We're really asking questions to determine, is this person committed? Both my husband and I are committed to working with, with people who are committed to getting results. We will not do the work for you. You have to be willing to do the work. And some are not. And some just are just really stuck. They're more addicted to the suffering than they are to change, to results. And so for those that really are fit, and if we feel it's a fit, we actually extend them an invitation to whatever coaching program that they're applying for, what we think will be the best one for them. And they go, oh, I'm just too overwhelmed right now. It's like, motherfucker, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So like, I'm in too much of a state of crisis right now, which is why I need the fucking help. However, uh, when I'm less in crisis, then I'll actually accept the help that's in front of me. That makes zero, zero sense. It's kind of like saying like you're too hungry to eat. Like things are too bad for you to take any action. Are you hearing this, sister? Because the excuse that you may be telling yourself right fucking now of I'm too overwhelmed to take action is bullshit. Bullshit. I haven't gone on a rant in a while. This feels good. This feels fucking good. And sometimes, you know what? With love, sister, you need to hear this shit. The truth. Like, pow, right in the face with it. Because it's bullshit. And the thing is, the reason that I know this is because I do it sometimes too. Oh my God, I got so many things going on. 
This is my thought the other day. I have a webinar coming up, a brand new webinar, a 30 day marriage challenge guide that I'm creating as part of it, writing. I'm away at my coaching program in a little bit less than two weeks. And then my husband leaves to go to Warrior after that. Funny, both in Laguna Beach. I'm basically arriving when he's leaving, arriving back home when he's leaving to go. And then when it gets back, basically three, two, three days later, we have a one day live event with Ed's business uh, in Vancouver. And someone we're flying up to watch our kids. Like, there's so much shit going on right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm also speaking at the event. So I have to also create my talk. It's a lot of stuff. Plus, I'm a wife, plus, I'm a mom, plus, I take care of me. So I can easily go to a place of overwhelm, right? And was actually, intis- and was actually you know, thinking of possibly taking some shit off my plate. I was like, do I have too much going on? I'm like, you know what? This is just a resistance. This is just threshold. I'm like, I got this. It's cool. But what I found in my experience, sister, is that when I stay in that story, because yeah, it's a story. It's just a thought. It's a thought about things. It's not even anything. It's a thought. The story of overwhelm freezes me. It paralyzes me. What takes me out of overwhelm is taking one step, one action, moving forward, momentum, not spinning my story, not me giving into the resistance, the lizard brain that wants me to fail, that says, I can't do this. Who the fuck am I? Overwhelm. So here's your more tip for today, sister. Where right now do you feel like you're in overwhelm? And here's the second part of this. So just identify where that is. Could be within your marriage, could be with your health, it could be with your kids. It could be with your business. What is the one action step you can start to move forward? To move you out of that state, just that thought that you have about overwhelm. And then go ahead and either email me to drkarenosburn at gmail.com or you can hit me up on Facebook and let me know what insight has come from that. Let me know how that's done. See, it's so simple. You want to make it complicated. It's a lot easier than you think, sister. Take one fucking step. Drop that story. Remember what you want and why it matters. And take one step forward to move you out of overwhelm and into a state of momentum and taking action in your life. So right now, I want you to head over to my website, drkarenosborn.com, spelled D-R-K-A-R-E-N-O-S-B-U-R-N.com, and make sure to subscribe to the Women Wanting More newsletter. You get to be part of the sisterhood, the tribe. Okay, so you're going to get all three episodes emailed to you, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, all the show notes, resources, and links that I talk about on these episodes. You don't have to write it down. They're all right there in the show notes. And then every day, I'm going to, outside of those three days, so on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to stay in touch with you. I'm going to send you blog posts I've written on Facebook. I'm going to send you videos. I'm going to provide value and really teach you how to have this life of more. Because it is not a life that most people live. So you need to hear it on a daily basis, sister. So make sure to head over to drkarnowsman.com. It's a couple places to opt into the newsletter. Enter your email and your name. And we'll get you hooked up on that today. So I will talk to you in the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.